Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things I like to do during each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 31st of 2023. Well, it is titled Halloween and the Wizard Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here on the day of Halloween, we see what is called the Wizard Nebula. And we see a lot of things here, including stars and gas and dust in this star forming region. So we're in the process of forming stars right here. And as those new stars form toward the top portion of the image, they eat away at the gas and dust. And you can see a number of tendrils pointing upward. Those are the darker, denser areas where stars are continuing to form. And as you look at them all around that lower nebula, you can see that they are all pointing in the direction of those bright stars which have formed. Those dark dusty knots are ones where stars are forming right now. There are currently proto stars there that are in the process of collapsing and becoming stars. So we see that and we see that we will then form the different types of nebulae that we see here, including emission nebulae and reflection nebulae, as well as the dark dusty nebulae that are present. Now we're looking at Halloween and even though that's not this image, what is Halloween? Well, Halloween has astronomical origins and it is one of the cross quarter days. And that is a day that is halfway between an equinox and a solstice. Equinox in this case would have been in the latter part of September. And that would have been the autumnal equinox when the days and nights were about of equal length. And we're then coming toward the winter solstice that will come up in December. And halfway in between that is what is called a cross quarter day. Now with the updated calendars, the real cross quarter day will not occur till next week. But how that is where Halloween originally came from. And in fact, another cross quarter day between the winter solstice and the spring equinox would be Groundhog Day, which would be about halfway in between those two. So those are again part of the idea that really all of our calendar is associated with things that come from astronomy. And that is the solstices and the equinoxes are specific positionings of the sun. The solstices are the highest and lowest points of the sun during the year. And the equinoxes when day and night are equal occur when the sun crosses the celestial equator, whether moving from north to south in the fall or from south to north in the spring. So again, it all ties back to astronomical uh, events that give us a lot of our calendar that we still use today. So that was our picture of the day for October 31st of 2023. It was titled Halloween and the Wizard Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a sunblock. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.